Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners on how to set up your chart of accounts. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so what I want to do is walk through in QuickBooks desktop here how to set up your chart of accounts, okay? So first of all, if you are not familiar with chart of accounts, I want to show you what that is. All right, so the, the chart of accounts uh, really forms the basis. And let me go over here. You'll see an icon on your desk on the desktop here on the flow chart that says chart of accounts. You can just click on that. Okay. So you're going to see all these accounts. These are called accounts. Okay. And these are over here, the types of accounts. Okay. This gets into accounting and how you classify things. And the chart of accounts is really important because it forms the basis for how you're going to classify all your transactions uh, in QuickBooks. And then these accounts get all put together and they get put on your financial statements, which are your profit and loss and your balance sheet. Okay. So what you're going to notice in this chart of account listing is we have, uh, we start off with bank accounts. All right. Accounts receivable, other current assets, etc. So the balance sheet goes from here all the way down to equity. Okay. And then the profit and loss starts here with income and goes all the way down to the other income, other expense, etc. And then you'll see you have some non posting items down here, which are estimates, purchase orders and sales orders. These do not get posted to your accounts or your financial statements until uh, something uh, like actual work or something like that happens. Okay, so these are what's called non posting. All right. Okay, so let me show you quickly. So you see here all these income cost of goods sold expense accounts, this big listing of accounts here. If we go over to reports, and I pull up the profit and loss standard, you'll see that here are all those accounts. Okay. So depending on the time period and what you put in here for your profit and loss report, um, all the transactions that you enter into QuickBooks get assigned to a specific account. And then uh, once it's all gathered in these specific accounts, the profit and loss in the balance sheet, uh, in other words, your financial statements, uh, summarize all of this information and put them onto a report, okay, for a time period for the profit and loss in this case. All right, so that's why the, the chart of accounts is, is super, super important, okay? Now, how to get this thing set up on the front end? Uh, when you set up your QuickBooks file, it's going to give you a, a basic chart of accounts, depending on your industry, which is a fantastic place to start, all right? Now, as you uh, progress and you add transactions to QuickBooks and, and certain things, you're going to find that there are accounts that you need to add and there are accounts uh, that you don't need. Okay. So first things first, what you're going to notice here is that some of these are indented. Okay. These are called sub accounts. All right. Now, what you want to make sure that you do is you have an account, which is this main one to the far left set up for your uh, bigger categories. Okay. Uh, for example, let me go down to, uh, let's say insurance. Okay. So insurance is an account, but then we've got some detail that we want to add in here. These are called sub accounts and it's very, very important. You want to make sure that your main accounts, you have as few as possible main accounts. Okay. Like insurance, interest expense, payroll expense, and then you can add as much detail as you want to these sub accounts. Okay. This keeps your financial statements nice and clean and readable. Okay. What I see far too often is that uh, people will start adding regular accounts for all of these sub accounts. Okay. So they'll just create an account for literally almost everything that they do. Okay. And this just, it kind of creates a mess. Okay. So you can, you'll, you'll print off your profit and loss or you'll pull it up on the screen and it's going to be 10 pages long because you have all these accounts. Okay. So what you want to do again is make sure that your accounts are these main categories. And if you have detail that you want to put underneath those where you want to categorize expenses uh, or other things, make a sub account. Okay. Now, one other thing in QuickBooks, you're going to notice there's an X next to these. This means this is inactive. It's not being used. 
Okay, so there's a checkbox down here and you can uh, uncheck that and it'll disappear uh, or you can show it up. Now, if you want to make it active again, you can just click the X and it becomes active. If you want to make an account inactive, so let's say that QuickBooks gives you this sample chart of accounts and you just don't use it, uh, that account, uh, you can just put an X next to it. Okay, very, very simple to do. Now, when you go through this and you start adding accounts, again, this is very easy to do. You're going to notice some buttons down here. Two ways to do this. So first of all, you can click the account and you can click new. Uh, if you want to edit an account, you can edit, delete. I would not recommend deleting accounts. If you're not going to use it, just make it inactive. Okay. So if you want to do a new account, you can do it this way. Or if you're just on this screen, you can right click and click new. All right. So it's going to take you to this screen that says, okay, uh, what kind of account you've got to categorize what type of account this is. Okay. So let's say that we're setting up an expense account. <clears throat> okay. We'll call this, uh, uh, let's say general liability. Okay. So what I'm doing here is this is going to be a sub account of insurance. Okay. So this is account name, general liability. We're going to make this a sub account of insurance. Okay. You can see there's not a general liability, so we'll make it a sub account. You can put any description in here you like, any notes. And if you do the tax line mapping for the tax return, you can also do this. Okay. So we hit save and close. Okay. So now you're going to see in our chart of accounts, insurance, general liability. All right. All right, so those are so there's uh, some quick tips that uh, you can use in your chart of accounts again and let me go back to the profit and loss you want to make sure that it's a nice and tight and what i mean again by that is if i go to collapse you're going to see here are all the main accounts all right now of course underneath these we have sub accounts workers comp insurance etc but if if all of these were accounts and they were not sub accounts Okay, this would show up as a very long profit and loss, and we want to, you want to make sure that you avoid that. All right. All right, so for more uh, QuickBooks training, head on over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, uh, where members who purchase the training for QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop, I answer all their questions uh, personally and uh, help them out and get their QuickBooks set up right and running as efficiently as possible. Again, it's qbuniversity.org.